absorption costing. In marginal costing, there is a difference in treatment of fixed overheads. That means fixed cost is considered as a period cost. Uh, why it's considered as a period cost? Because of the fixed cost would be considered at the part of a specific time. In case of that, the other hand, in part of absorption costing system, fixed cost is charged to the cost of production and reasonable share of fixed cost is to be allocated to each product. So we need to allocations of the fixed cost in case of absorption costing. Moving to the next point that in the marginal costing, the presentation of a data is so oriented that the total contribution and the contribution from each product gets highlighted. It means that if there are one product or in a several product, marginal costing per unit cost and the contribution would be highlighted the how much amount of the contributions has been earned from the each particular product where in absorption costing the amount of contributions before the profitability and the amount of the cost data has not been understood because of the conventional system and the conventional pattern. In case of a marginal costing classification of the expenses is based on nature like a fixed and variable where the in absorption costing classification of expenses is based on function that is the production cost administrative cost selling cost and other cost and the last point is in the marginal costing fixed overhead expenditures variances is to be computed for the variance reporting in the other hand in absorption costing in various reporting and fixed overhead expenditures and volume variances can be computed so that means in the marginal costing we would not be considered the variance reporting because of the fixed cost is not considered and in case of an absorption costing all variances and fixed overhead uh, expenditures are to be considered so the going to the next point that is effects of opening stock and closing stock on profitability there are two methods absorption costing and marginal costing and the profitability has been changed in the different methods so in case of an absorption costing the fixed cost contributions would be added at the time of a calculation of a profit on trading accounts as in opening stock as well as in the closing stock in the marginal costing we are actually applied a contribution method so the profitability was actually calculated on the basis of that when income statement under absorption costing and marginal costing are going to compare under mentioned the different type of observations like one the result under both the methods will be the same in situation where sales and production coincide that means the sales and production coincide that is neither change in opening stock and closing stock but profit shown under the absorption costing will be more than the profit shown under the marginal costing when the closing stock more than the opening stock the reason of this that the absorption costing portion of the fixed overhead instead of being charged to the current period is charged to the closing stock and carried over to the next period. So that means that whatever the amount of closing stock you are carried in the current period would be not calculated in the current period but would be transferred into the next period and that's why their profit has been deferred. So profit shown in the another case profit shown under the absorption costing will be the lower than the profit shown under the marginal costing when the closing stock is less than the opening stock. In case of a more than, then it would be different consideration. Here in case of a closing stock is less than the opening stock, then it would be a different concern. In this reason, the portion of fixed cost related to the previous year is actually a more than the current period of time. So this is what the basic difference and basic understanding when the calculation of opening and closing stock of profit in case of the calculation of this method. Now moving to the next point that is a pro forma of a marginal costing and absorption costing. As such we are discussing the two different techniques for recording and identifying the costing structure 
for the evaluating of profitability before the fixed cost incurred and in the normal case in case of an absorption costing the cost structure defined what would be the profitability there is some change see here what are the changes the changes in case of a marginal costing the schedule to be prepared and statement has to be prepared for the calculation of marginal costing is very simple like start with the sales revenue the sales revenue would be considered whatever the amount of total sales revenue whether it's in a credit or cash then find out the all marginal cost of sales here instead of the total cost i am considering only marginal cost of sales under that marginal cost of sales how it would be find out opening stock would be calculated on the basis of a marginal costing plus manufacturing cost that is the production cost added into the opening stock that will be a total production cost minus the closing stock which was calculated on the basis of marginal cost deducted from it so the balance it comes the marginal cost of production cost from the marginal cost of production cost if you want to record out a column you can record it out a column also otherwise the added selling and distribution expenses and administrative expenses add into this marginal cost of production and find out the marginal cost of sales that marginal cost of sales would be deducted from the revenue from the sales revenue and the balance it comes your contribution so the contribution it comes the difference between this sales revenue and the marginal cost of sales that is your contribution here as i already mentioned earlier at the time of explaining the marginal cost i was very clearly said you that the variable cost is considered only for the calculation of a marginal costing so here the all variable costs are deducted and find out the contribution now as i already mentioned the formula that the contribution is always includes fixed cost and profit so that c is equal to f plus p in case if there would be no profit or no loss in case of break even situation then the contribution and the uh, fixed cost would remain same but in case of the profitability is there then when you deduct the fixed cost from the contribution you would be received a profit this is the one method for a marginal cost now see the another method is an absorption costing when you compare the absorption costing method with the marginal costing you would be getting an idea sales revenue at the beginning then the less uh whatever the amount of absorption costing of sales here instead of marginal costing we would be consider the absorption costing of sales there are certain differences which we were already discussed earlier that the opening stock and closing stocks are calculated differently in marginal cost as well as in absorption cost so opening stock which is valued at an absorption cost then add production cost Uh, which is also calculated on the basis of absorption cost it comes the total production cost from the total production cost closing stock would be deducted from it and then the answer is absorption cost of production in absorption cost of production add your all admin expenses selling and distribution expenses and then it comes the total absorption cost of sales now this absorption cost of sales is going to deduct from the sales revenue the difference it comes unadjusted profit here it would be considered a contribution see the difference in case of marginal costing we were consider here the contribution but in case of an absorption costing we are going to concern and consider this item as an unadjusted profit from unadjusted profit we are going to deduct the fixed overheads whether it is an absorbed or incurred all expenditures are deducted fixed expenditures are deducted and find out the adjusted profit so in this regard the amount of adjusted profit is differ or maybe some the method is differ in calculation of marginal costing and absorption costing moving to the next point that is limitations of absorption costing listen in marginal costing and absorption costing the certain limitations are designed but we need to identify what are the benefits in concern when how the limitations can be removed and converted into a more and more benefits for the techniques for the management see here it is observed that in absorption costing a portion of fixed cost is carried over or to the subsequent accounting period as part of the closing stock so that means it is an unsound practice because the cost pertaining to a period should not be allowed 
to be a vit vitiated by the inclusion of cost pertaining to the previous period and vice versa. So that means this is one of the biggest limitations when the closing stock was actually not created a situation and not to be allowed to vitiate it by the inclusion of the cost of cost pertaining to the previous period. In case of the another observation that the absorption costing is dependent on the level of output which may vary from period to period. That means the level of output may not be remain same in all the uh, different periods and consequent cost per unit charges due to the existence to fix overheads unless the fixed overhead rate is based on normal capacity such charged whatever the possibility of changes are not helpful to the purposes of a decision as well as the control so these are the limitations for an absorption costing moving to the next point that is the principles of marginal costing the principle of marginal costing are the one thing for any given period of time fixed cost will be the same for any volume of sales and production here i just want to tell you the fixed cost cannot be changed at every level of output up to certain level and a certain period of time the fixed cost is always remain same therefore on selling an extra item of a product or a particular services the certain observations are there like revenue will increase by the sales value of item sold that means the revenue is going to increase at every point of time when the, your sales volume has been increased cost will increase only by the variable cost per unit has been increased and the profit will also increase by the amount of contribution earned from the extra units has been sold out so this is a basic observations of the part of calculation similarly in the sales of the volume of sales falls by one item the profit will fall by the another amount of contribution earned from the item that means the amount of sales volume as falls by one item automatically profit will be affected in the case of the contribution is affected because of the volume of output has decreased your contribution has decreased and automatically your profitability is also affected profit measurement should therefore be based on analysis of a total contribution since fixed costs related to a period of time and do not change with increase or decrease in sales volume it is misleading to charge units of sales with a share of fixed cost in that case the amount of a sales volume we need to understand and it may be sometimes mislead the charge of sale units with the amount of fixed cost when a unit of product is made the extra cost incurred naturally when you uh, manufacture the units extra cost incurred in its manufacturing are the variable production cost fixed cost are always affected and no extra fixed cost are actually find out in case of output is increased so certain period of time the fixed cost are remains same so this is what all about the part of the, uh, this particular segment so now moving to the next point that is features of marginal costing there are many features for the marginal costing so far and these features are actually helpful at the time of a managerial aptitudes and managerial skills to be understand the first is cost classification the marginal costing technique makes a sharp distinctions between variable cost and the fixed cost so that means it's a cost has been classified variable cost has been designed and the fixed cost is to be identified both cost would be actually uh, appeared in the cost structures separately and that would be actually appeared separately because of the system has uh, find out the how the profitability has changed in case of the variable cost is affect and the fixed cost is affect it is the variable cost on the basis of which the production and sales policies are designed by a firm following the certain marginal costing technique 
Then the part of the marginal costing technique is applied. The, uh, the one is a variable cost techniques is applied. Then the find out the break even point policies. Then the find out the margin of safety policies. Some key factors to be applied. So certain techniques are there in the marginal costing to determine the such type of cost classifications. Moving to the next feature that is stock inventory valuation. Under the marginal costing, stock valuations for the profit measurement is valued at the marginal cost. It means the stock valuations is done on the basis of a marginal cost only. It is in a sharp contrast to the total unit of cost in the close costing method. That means if you are going to calculate the closing stock in a normal case like in absorption method or in a costing method, it would be a sharp differences. That means you can identify that there is some differences for the calculation of closing stock in marginal costing as well as in the costing running method. Another uh, feature is marginal contribution. Marginal costing technique makes use of marginal contribution for making various decisions. Marginal contribution is a difference between the sales and marginal cost. It forms the basis for judging the profitability of a different products or the units. In that sense, the marginal costing has been defined and identified the differences of the sales revenue and the marginal cost. And marginal cost we consider only the variable cost. Another important feature is a selling price determination. This is a very important feature because of the many times marketing strategy and the competitions level to be designed on the basis of a selling price of your product. Because of there are many competitors into the market and the, how the competitors has to be handled and then they offer to some challenges from our side. Selling price of the product in uh, case of a marginal costing method is determined based on the cost plus the contribution always. It means they were never considered the fixed cost for the calculation of selling price. Here the contribution of course means the difference between the sales and the variable cost. Another important feature is profitability. The profitability of the product and department is based on the contribution made available by each department and each product. Then the last feature is fixed cost versus period cost. The fixed costs are treated as period cost and are charged to the costing profit. That means the whatever the fixed costs are there, that was always considered as a part of the period cost and charged in the costing profit. And then loss account of the period in which they are incurred. So it means that the amount of fixed cost is treated as a period cost for the specific period of time and it would be treated in the profit and loss account to identify the cost of expenditures as well as the profit and loss account. Now moving to the next point that is advantages of marginal costing. Advantages of marginal costing are that is a very very simple method. Why it's a very simple method? Because of in marginal costing we need to just identify the variable cost and the cost which are related to the variables and that variable cost has been calculated and deducted from the sales revenue that's why it's a very very simple method by not charging the fixed overheads to the cost of productions that effect of varying charges per unit has been avoided so this is a very simple method it's a first advantage another is in the stock valuation the marginal costing prevents the illogical carry forward of some proportion of the current year fixed overhead to the next year that means an illogical perception that the some amount of fixed cost would be carried forward through closing stock into the next year. It reduces the degree of over and under recovery overheads due to the separation of a fixed cost between the production cost and the cost of marginal units. That